EPA issues construction erosion rules, producer price index picture refocused, major trouble facing a tunnel dig, and ConExpo wraps up a big success. That and more on Construction News Tracker, brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. The Environmental Protection Agency has adopted its best practices rules governing numeric limits for turbidity, stormwater runoff at construction sites. No major changes are cited in the best practices requirement that applies only to construction in progress. Further, an AASHTO request that requires permit holders be responsible for only runoff in immediate stormwater discharge areas was also adopted. It takes effect May 5th. In an effort to become more relevant, the U.S. Labor Department has changed the way it measures the producer price index to include construction and services, encompassing those purchased by the government or exported, future tracking charges by manufacturers or farmers. The agency said it will mean a better measure of the costs ultimately passed on to consumers. What to do about a broken tunnel drill? Washington State DOT officials have dismantled Bertha's drillhead after it was damaged in December, meaning the massive Highway 99 tunnel project in Seattle sits idle until at least September. Construction work is being focused on related ramp and foundation work now, while some workers have been laid off. It's unclear if there will be enough work to sustain all the jobs through summer, or if it can meet a 2015 completion date. After learning the Hoover Dam was built in five years and the Empire State Building went up in 13 months, lawmakers have voted to adopt the RAPID Act, which stands for Responsibly and Professionally Invigorating Development in the U.S., also seen as a boon for job creation. The RAPID Act is part of the larger National Environmental Policy Act that now imposes an 18-month deadline for environmental assessment and 36-month environmental impact statement with a 180-day limit on lawsuits covering permitting decisions on public works projects. A resounding success is the word from AEM as it tallies up the numbers from ConExpo 2014. 129,000 visited the Las Vegas Convention Center for the show, 31,000 of those from outside the U.S. Four construction pros carried a live stream from the show floor, and editor Larry Stewart says this year's focus was on telematics. Well, thanks a lot, Roger. Uh, you know, Con Expo 2014 is going to be remembered, uh, I think, aptly um, based on the, the, the experience that the organizers, the Association of Equipment Manufacturers had. They had a goal of 125,000 attendees and they reached it halfway through the show. And that just indicates how much enthusiasm there is in the construction market right now for equipment and innovations and getting involved in uh, helping reauthorize the Highway Trust Fund and all those things that have to do with moving this industry forward because as one of the exhibitors I just talked to said there's a lot of green lights coming on in the industry right now and and so we saw great innovations from the manufacturers as a result you know uh, Caterpillar has issued its second generation uh, hybrid excavator which is pretty remarkable in and of itself uh, they, they've got a, a new truck uh, version of the, the successful CT660. They've got an axle forward version. Um, Komatsu's inter, uh, introducing integrated grade control on more of their dozer models. Um, Case showed us the next generation of uh, their excavators with an SCR after treatment system. Um, Wacker Noisen is entering the skid steer loader market. So this coalition of, uh, of contractors led by Old Castle and Amico and br bringing in the major rental firms, United Rentals, uh, Sunbelt and some of, some of the other big names, um, they got together and went to the Association of Equipment Management Professionals who brought in AEM, an Association of Equipment Manufacturers, and created a standard for reporting the data from telematics systems um, with uh, a standard communications protocol. Uh, and and um, 
that really is driving a major part of the messaging here at the show. All the manufacturers are suddenly talking about telematic systems, about uptime guarantees, and about partnerships between their dealers and their customers and themselves to help improve the reliability and the performance of machines in the field. And cer certainly telematics is going to do that. Now, are, is telematics necessarily new? No. The big difference is that uh, contractors got together and said, hey, look, this has to, these systems all have to communicate in a similar way so that we can put it all together in one system and truly manage our fleets. And that's coming. That's happened. Essentially, the standard was created. Not very exciting stuff, but it's going to have pretty exciting impact, impact on the industry. 2,400 exhibitors covered over 2 million square feet of space during Con Expo, the best turnout since 2008. Finally, life does not require us to make good. It asks only that we give our best at each level of experience. This is Construction News Tracker watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place. Brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Reach us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4constructionpros or at Twitter where you can share us with friends or leave a comment using Hashtag construction news as the streaming web never ends.